You're on. Okay. Jesus said, No one taking hold of the plow and looking back is worthy of the kingdom of God. You know, he says, Jesus replied, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the service in the kingdom of God. A couple of statements I've heard lately is that I get so tired of hearing about politics. I get so tired of talking about this. And truthfully, we have to fight this battle on one plane or another. Or we just have to roll over and let the enemy do whatever he wants. Which would be a disgrace and a testimony to the cowardice of this generation if we did that. That, folks, just cannot happen. That can not happen. So we're going to have to fight this battle on one plane or another. We fight it in the political realm where Abraham Lincoln wanted to fight the Civil War. He actually did not want a Civil War, but a lot of times um, people are unwilling to give in to uh, the things that are right. <clears throat> the Bible says God is a jealous God. Truthfully, God could use me to help avoid a civil war in this country. I don't want it either, but I, I'm almost absolutely sure, man, that there's outside of God changing this, I don't think there's any way to avoid it. Because there's so many, there is I'm guessing now, going by, okay, there's roughly 5% atheist, and there is roughly 7, 8 to 15%, maybe 20% of uh, liberal people who... Uh, Say, there's, say that they're Christian who have absolutely no idea what Christianity is about who who want communism that's that probably 20% of the people in this country uninformed now 20% of the people in this country um, approximately could cause that war to happen because the Bible says the the enemy take us by force. Now, a radicalized person who doesn't care about your rights, as a as a Christian does, Christian only stands up in protecting themselves while others accuse him because of that. That's what that's what the liberal agenda is doing now. Obama administration has done that from day one. Anybody trying to stand up and protect their rights, they get accused of hate crimes. Um, you go out and and you do something about radical Muslims in this country and you get accused of, of hate crimes. Um, and I'm thinking a couple of dreams the Lord gave me a dream last night about the Muslim agenda is to try to turn around the saying that you said to make it sound like you don't know what you're talking about while using words that are hard to understand but if you pay close attention to the words it's like a so what <laughs> you're exactly right you know um, while trying to make you look bad but that's the agenda that will bring us to a war in this country and we can't just stop fighting this war. We can't, a soldier can't lay down his gun and go home because he's tired of hearing uh, the guns go off around him. You know, they, that's not an option. 
when you're in a battle. You can't just stop in the middle of a battle and go home. Well, I'm tired of this. Got to go home and do something else. No, once you enter into a battle, you should never stop that battle. You should make up your mind before you go into the battle that you're going to see it through to the end. The Lord said He would give us rest if we would lean on Him. You can lean on God even in the middle of a battle. Amen. And I've got a couple of verses here. Um, with Hillary Clinton, this, this is the battle that I'm fighting, you know. The Lord has made me His prophet. So, and I have said that Miley Cyrus and Hillary Clinton are going to be judged. And they will. One is as sure as the other. Because God is using this as a witness. And I'll go ahead and read it in the King James. Uh, da, 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 where you are, King James? Deuteronomy 19.15 One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or a sin. Now, what Hillary and Miley Cyrus is doing is the same thing. They're both using a different objective, but they're both being used to accomplish the same thing in this country as far as God is concerned. And that is, they are corrupting the heart of America. I on my own cannot rise up against this thing they are doing and cause it to stop. But God will use these two people to uh, announce to the world that um, he, is wor he is calling out for a pure heart of America uh, through me. Through me. Okay? So, one witness, and the Bible says, this is his word, and this is why he's doing it this way, because he gave it in his word. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity, or for any sin, in any sin that he sinneth. At the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, he sh the matter shall be established. I'm one, Helen is two, Miley is three. Okay, that's why God is doing it this way, because because of His Word. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, Exodus 34.14 says, Do not worship any other God, for the Lord God, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. That's why He's doing it. God's name is on this place. God's name is on this place. He is doing this because he is jealous for this land and this people in this land. And that's why he's doing it. <clears throat> I said on Facebook, my Facebook is not for, not just for anybody. Because I'm I'm pretty harsh sometimes in the truths that I tell. But just like I say to some atheists, uh, I could be your best friend. If you want truth that is for, for a godly good, then stick around because you're going to hear it. I don't deal with truth that is has nothing to do with God. I don't deal with, well, so-called truth. I don't because all truth is of God. If it's truth, it's of God, you know. And anything that is not truth is something made up or something slanderous to truth, you know. So, if you want Facebook members, if you want to stick around and, and hear something to make a difference in the world for, or something good, I mean, sometimes we don't make much difference. Sometimes we barely make a difference at all, but it's a difference. And the more people that you you get doing this, the the greater impact that it's going to make. Alrighty. 
God bless you. Thank you for joining. We'll see you next time right here. Another great message right here on Crossing the Middle Ministry.